Okay, here we're going to be using the direct cash flow method to determine our cash flow statement. And this is where we use the actual cash flows through our cash account. And we're going to be using this equation here, where assets equal liabilities plus stockholders equity. So what I've done here with assets, I've broken it apart between the cash asset here and all other assets. So let's go down and look at how we would uh, set up our equation. And for our assets here, we'd have the change in cash, plus all these other assets equal our change in liabilities plus our change in stockholders equity. So uh, what I've done here is I've moved this change or this change in other assets over to the other side of the equation. So what we would have here is a change in cash equals minus the change in all the other assets plus the change in liabilities plus this change in stockholders equity. Okay, looking at our change in cash flow for financing activities, now those would be our non-operating long-term liabilities and shareholders equity. So if we go down here and look at our accounting equation here, where we have an increase in the change in liabilities, that transfers over to an, change in cash, an increase in the change in cash, and a decrease here in our change in liabilities transfers over to a decrease in cash. And the same for our uh, shareholders equity accounts. Any increases translate over to a change in cash increase, and any decreases would reduce the change in cash decreases. Now we have to be careful here when we get down down to our contra accounts and those would be like our dividends here those are the cash that we pay to our uh, uh, shareholders so an increase here in our shareholders equity and diff dividends would be a reduction here in the change of cash and same for treasury stock when we buy it back here and in increase our shareholders equity that would reduce our cash now if we go down here and look or up here and look at our T accounts uh, we'll see that we have our dividends here as uh, shareholders earned capital and our contributed uh, shareholders contributed capital would be like our common stock, preferred stock, and then our contra account here, our treasury stock. And then our liabilities here would be showing like um, bonds that we uh, issued to our bondholders. And then you can see here the effect that it has on our cash account for each one of those debits and credits. So let's go down here and look at our cash flow statement for financing activities. So our cash inflows here would be for the sale of equity securities, that would be stocks, and the issuance of debt securities, bonds and notes. And then our cash outflows would be like for the dividends to shareholders, redemption of long term a debt or the redemption of capital stock. So then we look at the difference here between our cash inflows and cash outflows and then we'd have our net cash provided or used by financing activities. Okay to expand on what might be included here in our cash and financing activities uh, first we'll look at our stockholders equity and we'd have our common stock, our preferred stock, our treasury stock and then we have these accounts here like stated capital and capital surplus well those would be part of our common stock and then the same for additional paid in capital here that would be part of the common stock and then we have owners partners capital that may be contributed here and then we have retained earnings well that wouldn't directly affect cash that wouldn't that would affect the earnings but not cash and then we have our accumulated comprehensive income no that wouldn't affect our cash revaluation reserve that wouldn't directly affect cash uh, stock dividend uh, it's contra account here but that wouldn't directly affect cash. Property dividend, that wouldn't either. Now a cash dividend certainly would affect our, ca our change in cash and that is a contra account as well. A warrants or stock warrants, yes, and those would affect our cash. Then owners or partners draw here, that would certainly affect cash or reduce cash. Okay, looking at our long-term liabilities, it would be part of our financing activities would be like the bonds and notes payable, that would be those long-term notes payable, uh, all the other payables here, land, equipment, vehicles, and loans payable. And then we'd also have deferred revenue here, that would be a long-term revenue. And then we get down here to these discounts and premiums that have to be amortized on our bonds and notes payable. Now those would not be included in our cash 
change in cash for financing activities. Those are recognized as a non-expense or a non-revenue as part of our net income, but would not be included as an exp a change in cash here. And then you'd have the other long-term liabilities. All right, to summarize, our change in cash here for financing activities would include our long-term liabilities of the company and also our stockholders' equity, both the contributed capital per portion and the earned capital portion. And what we're looking for is the change in cash for those liabilities and those stockholders' equity. So if we got an increase here or debit amount to our cash account, that would be the a cash inflow to the company. And if we have a reduction in cash or a credit here to cash, that would be a cash outflow. Now if we go down here and look at our cash flow statement for financing activities, we'd have our cash inflows here listed, and then we'd have our cash outflows here summarized and listed. And what we would be doing here is we'd be netting the cash inflow against the cash outflow here. So looking here, we'd have our net cash provided or used uh, by financing activities. And that, would, again, is that net amount here. So if it's provided, that's a cash increase. And if it's used, that would be a cash decrease. So what we're looking here for is either a positive or negative amount and by how much. So uh, that's what we'd be looking here for our cash flow statement, what this net amount is for our cash inflows and our cash outflows.